Today the topic we are going to discuss the poem from 11th standard, 6th unit, the 6th poem, The Hollow Crown. It is written by William Shakespeare. So all of us know the meaning of hollow. Crown also we know the meaning. Crown which is placed on the head of a king to get the power and authority. So hollow is refers an empty. So that is refers here. Uh, that is the title of the meaning. So let us see about the author. William Shakespeare is well known uh, poet and dramatist. So he was well known. He was he is, he is called Bard of Avon, and he is also called the Father of English. And he was born on 26th April 1564, and he died on 23rd April. 1616. So he has a very good unique position in the world literature. World literature. Actually, he has written 39 plays, 154 sonnets, and two long narrative poems. Uh, his plays are classified into three sections: comedy, tragedy, and historical. So he was not. Uh, not of an age but for all time so here the poem given is Olo Crown which is an extract from the play play King Richard II uh, the play is based on true events that the end of the 14th century uh, Richard II was crowned the King England in 1367 he continued uh, the British monarch till 1399 when he was deposed by his cousin Henry O. Bolingbroke so who crowned himself a king so Henry the fourth in the same year King Richard and some of his followers awaited the arrival of the Welsh army of about thousand warriors but it has become vain so only he got he received the message that the army was not coming to rescue him his followers believed that the king king courage but everything became waste so he is not he is expecting that he will uh, the warriors would come but so by everything became waste so finally uh, when richard faced the reality of his terrible fate he spoke the following verse famously known as the hollow crown in a speech theoretical circle so king richard is reminded of the power of the death overshadows everything else including the power of rulers and renders them as a powerless as any commoner at a moment's notice so this is the main theme of the poem main theme here the king richard was arrested and deposed he was thrown out of the power uh, he talks about the death so only that is ultimate that is in our hand that is final so whatever you have that is not going to you help you so finally everybody even you have the many many things you will you will lose all those things that is the message conveyed through this poem the hollow crow so here the poet tries to convey the convey it very strongly very strongly that so death is going to occupy everyone everybody so it is conveyed here let's see the poem of the lines before going into the poem of the lines let's see the glossary of this poem let's see the glossary of this poem uh, epitaph epitaph means uh, a short piece of writing inscribed on the tombstone in memory of the dead uh, which is written on the stone in the graveyard executors executors means persons who put someone's terms of will into effect uh, big with pass on something to the next generation by means of your will 
something donating through a will. So will it is a document that is called a big will. Deposed, removed from office or a power that is called deposed. Slime, slime means killed. Antique, antique means someone who draws attention through the silly funny acts. Here a court jester, jester is a, it's a, it is called a joker who does performs in the courtyard he is called antique. Scoffing means expressing mockingly. Uh, monarch, monarchies rule or carry the duties and functions of a ruler. Impregnable, impossible to pass through. That is meaning it's not possible. Ceremonious, uh, being very formal. So this, these are the meaning given here. Uh, let's see the poem now. Okay. Uh, let's see the poem lines. Let's talk of graves, of worms and epitaphs. So here, very first line, the poet talks about the graveyard and the worms and epitaphs. Of the, what is written on the epitaph? So he wants that something should be written on his epitaph. Uh, inscribed on his tombstone. So, you know, make dust of paper with the rainy eyes, with right sorrow on the bosom of the earth. So, here the paper, dust is used as a paper. So, the poet says the dust should be a paper and rainy eyes, rainy eyes is used as a pen to how to write. So how do you write with sorrow in this world? We are, uh, we are something. We are facing all those things with sorrow on the bosom, blooming, blooming the earth. That is the meaning of the second line. Let's choose executors and talk of wills. So the person who put someone will in effect and talk about wills, uh, and yet. No, so for that we can bequeath, save our deposed bodies to the ground. So whatever we have, whatever the bill is given to you, finally what happens, only we are going to be buried in the burial ground. So even though you have the power, finally you are going to bury. Our lands, our lives and all on bowling brooks and nothing can we call our own but death. Here the King Richard says that we have a, we, I had a land and a life and all. Now it is in the hands of Bowling Brook. Nothing I am, only except the death. Death is only for me. So I have only death. Uh, so he says, the small model of barren earth which serves a paste and a cover of our bones. Finally when we are buried it is the small model of the barren earth serves as a paste and cover our bones which covers our body under bones. Finally, he refers only the dead bodies. For the God's sake, let us let us sit upon the ground and tell sad stories of the death of kings. Now we can discuss many kings, many kings, many who succeeded in their life, who failed in their life. Finally, what happened to the kings? Finally, they attained the death. Whomever you are, you are a king, you are a soldier, whatever it may be, what is ultimate, that, that is death. So we should not be arrogant, we should have, we should be humble and all those things should be carried. How some have been deposed, some slain in war, some haunted by the ghost, they have deposed. Uh, many, many of them killed while, while they are uh, deposed. Deposed it means while they are taken out of the power, they are dead. Some of them are dead in the war. Some of them are haunted. Haunted means by killing by ghosts. They are ghost. Some of them have deposed. They got a, they out of the power. Out of the power they are. Some poisoned by their wives. Some sleeping killed. Some of the king killed by their wives. Uh, some of them while they are sleeping killed. All murdered, all are murdered, even though whatever you have. So this this is the end, the poet says. For within the holo crown, so the people who, who use this holo, so that is an empty crown, empty crown, that drowns the mortal temples of a king. So that drowns mortal temples of a king. Even though the kings, there is a way, no way to escape from the death. 
keeps the death escort and their antique ships so here jester is there and also death is also in a escort it means when he is a king the whole crowd refers to the death scoffing scoffing is dead and grinning at his pomp scoffing is dead and grinning at his pomp okay death laughs at looking at the king and and it which is uh, which re reveals the graveyard graveyard uh, allowing him breath a little see to monarchies be feared kill with looks so death allows the kings to live a while and place the monarch but it fears him to kill the looks finally he is going to die infusing uh, infusing him with self and vain conceit as if this flesh which wall about our life which wall about our life were brass impregnable and humored thus so finally your death fills uh, even useless pride we are we feel some some of the things we feel pride and uh, we we get arrogant uh, so whenever you have the power and money you may feel like that but finally what happens your death will cover you so nothing so where the brass impregnable is here the which is impossible which is impossible it is even though you have everything all those things finally you will face the death so we have to be humbled so comes at last and with a little pin even as the you have the body so it's like a ball when the ball is spinned it automatically uh, what happens automatically it's to go goes the air goes out so like that our body goes through a castle wall and a farewell king so the king which who has the body like this what happens when it is which is knocked down by a pin cover your heads and mock not flesh and flood blood with solemn reverence throw away respect your head is covered the many of the kings said is covered with the crown and a mock not a flesh blood with solomon many of the kings were given res respect but i am also a common person not like you we too have the fear we too have the all the feelings the king is very normal so don't give any respect to the poet says i am i am i am you are very normal person so king also have that like this but many kings have given reverence so that should not be like that tradition form and ceremonious duty so like tradition traditionally uh, what it is refers cultural it refers we have the ceremonious duty whatever that work it's a duty we have given it's very formal duty Uh, like doing you i am a very normal person not a king is also considered as a normal person for you have but mistook me all the while here the poet says you have taken you have thought that i am also a, i am a king so you have given some respect no respect should be given because i am also a very common man because death enveloped me death covered me so that i say this line I live with bre bread like you feel want taste gruff need from subject to dust I am also wanted bread so I agree myself I I eat myself for me like you like a common man feel I to have the feelings like a common man I to have faced many sorrows I to need friends these are very common to all not for a king or other commoner person so how can you say to me i am a king finally he questions himself rhetorical question how can you say to me i am a king so here the poet finally concludes i am not a king because if the every common man has the death like king also has the death so every common person has the calm many feelings grief sorrows joys and like that king also has so even though i had i had in the power that not you helped me to save my death actually 
he wanted to gather the warriors to fight against the bowling broke but that became useless so that he says finally i was enveloped with death so that is here cow says nobody can save my life so don't say i am not a king i am a very normal person these these are the theme what is the theme conveyed you want the king or a common person whatever it may be so both are very common so both are very very common because what is the main point revealed here so death death can death envelops each and every one so we have to be humble we have to be helpful so we have to give respect to each and every one so we have to uh, adjust others so we have we have to be flexible all those things we have to keep it in our mind because finally that whomever it may be we are going to die and don't be feel proud yourself that you are this and that so that is the message conveyed through this poem actually it is an extract from the richard king play uh, play by shakespeare it is not a um, specifically particular poem when he was okay okay richard king too ruled this he was take it was taken out this poem let's see once again the summary of the poem the uh, this monologue is famously known as the over ground speech theoretical circles in it king richard too ponders the might of the death or that overshadows everything else including the seemingly invulnerable power of kings and renders them as hum- as human as any commoner at a moment's notice when richard too comes face to face with the bleak reality of his crumbling world and his imminent fate he succumbs to his despair momentarily it is then he speaks the following verse the situation is hopeless therefore he will not speak of comforts he wants to talk about graves wounds and about the inscription tombstone in memory of the dead he wants to make dust his paper use his tears and write message sorrow on the pain yet he requests his men to choose their executors and talk of their will and yet what can they pass on their their next generation other than leaving their ro- uh, rotting bodies to the ground their land and their lives now belong to bowling brook and they can uh, call nothing their own except for the death and the little patch of her uh, that will cover their buried bodies for god sakes he says to sit on the ground and tell sad stories of the death kings how some were overthrown and some killed in the war some were haunted by the ghost of the king they had over, uh, overthrown still others were poisoned by their wives while others were killed in their sleep all of them however were murdered uh, there is always death around the king and there no way to escape death laughs at the king's regime and mocks his great ceremonies allowing him to live a little while and play the monarch it fills with the vein in pride as if the king's body is immortal in the end death comes to with a little effort kills the body and bids goodbye to the king he entreats his followers not to mock mere flesh and blood, blood by exhibiting dignified respect towards himself he has the them to cast out the respect ceremonies duty towards his royal state they had a mistake mistaken him all the while he adds that he to needs bread to bread to live feels want taste grief and need friends he concludes his speech rhetorically questioning them how can how could you how they call you a king he was composed a recognized human mortality so that is the main theme of the poem so remember thank you so much indeed